Okay, so just a, a little video on how thinking harmonically can completely alter the sound of your lines and, and your approaches to creating melodies. So sound of blues, most people think about the bebop blues as being one four, one one, four, maybe four diminished, one six, two five, one, and then maybe a one six two five at the end. So if I was to think like that. <laughs> Okay, so now there are, you know, almost an endless um, number of alternatives, harmonically speaking, when you're playing on a blues. So here's one I, I kind of uh, enjoy using, and um, so over the first four bars, I'm going to go in the in the key of G, G7, F7, E flat seven, D flat seven, which leads to the C, and then. From there, let's look at using um, the, the next four bars, kind of like blues for Alice. So we'll go C7, C minor, uh, B minor, B flat minor, down to the A minor, which is the 2-5 uh, in the last four bars, okay? <laughs> So there's one, you can hear that the sound uh, of that line is completely different. So then if I choose a third example, let, let's say here's another one I like, which is uh, when you kind of slip up a semitone in the second bar. So you go G7, A flat 7, G7, and then let's really alter this sound. So let's have this as like a G augmented um, on bar four. And then we'll have a, let's have a C7 sharp 11 for two bars, um, which is, you know, not particularly groundbreaking, but even just adding an extra uh, extension on the chord can get you thinking quite differently about how you're approaching your lines. Um, so we'll go C7, sharp 11 for two bars, then we'll play one dominant, and let's say B flat seven there instead of E7. So we'll go B flat seven, and then instead of the A, D, G, we'll, we'll do a tritone two five. So we'll go E flat minor, A flat seven to G, and then Let's put the down in tones thing there. So instead of over the, the uh, 1625, we'll go G, F, E flat, D, which leads us back to the top. Just remember what I said now. Okay, one more time on that. I'll slow it down. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, uh, and now if I string all to all three together, so I'm trying to remember what I said, but you know the standard kind of bebop um, changes across the first chorus. Second chorus will be the down in tones and then the blues for Alice kind of bit. And then the uh, last one will be upper semitone in bar two. And then uh, the tritone two five at the end as well. And the C7 sharp 11 for four bars. So see if I can remember all of that. <laughs> Okay, so you can see that those three choruses have a completely different sound to them. So if, if you find that you're playing, you know, the, the same kind of sounding lines um, quite often through changes, this can be really helpful in getting you outside of your, um, you know, standard uh, melodic constructions and into some uh, more colourful 
kind of interesting lines. So I give that a go.